Hi hey everyone, I'm Jessica Aaron, and today I'm going to be reviewing two puzzles. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just learned of a company that is based in the UK and it's called Very Puzzled and I'm going to have the website linked down in the description box below. And I'm also gonna have some other stuff linked in case you guys wanna look into things even more. So I have a lot of stuff that I looked up. I actually emailed Patrick Adam, he's the owner, and he's originally from Africa. He wanted to share Africa to people through puzzles. So I emailed him about the people who are on the boxes because the information doesn't really come with the puzzles. It's more of just a visual learning and then you look into it. But I emailed him and asked him who the people were and he was so kind to give the names of the people on the puzzle. So every now and then I'm gonna say who these people are so that you guys can know too. And the puzzles that I got are Nigeria and Ghana. So let's get started. So here are the two boxes. I'm gonna start with Nigeria first because this box is open and this one still has the plastic wrapper on it. So this is the box, just so you can take a look at it. And here's what's on the back. Capital, currency, population, major cities, area, government, largest city. Motto, anthem, major languages, ethnicities, and the puzzle has 100 pieces. I really like the way this bag had the resillable closing so that you could put the puzzles back in here instead of just putting them back in the box. Okay, so I flipped all the pieces over and with the help of my mom and she's actually gonna be helping me out with this puzzle too. And we're just gonna get started. Okay, so I finished this little part and I just wanted to tell you guys who these two people are. This one is Chimamanda Adichie and she's a Nigerian writer. She was born in September on the 15th of 1977 and then I'm gonna have a link so that you guys can see more information about her in the description box below. That's just a little bit about her. Same thing with this one. This is Chinua Achebe and he's a Nigerian novelist, poet, professor, and critic. He was born in 1930 and he died in 2013. <laughs> I actually had the opportunity to read one of his books in college for a history class and it was called Things Fall Apart. That was such a good book. This is Chiwetel and he's a British Nigerian actor. He was born on July the 10th in 1977. I'm not sure how to say his last name actually, so it'll it'll be in the description box. You'll see what I'm talking about. And then this is Genevieve Naji, and she's a Nigerian actor, producer, and director. She was born on May the 3rd in 1979. Okay, I'm gonna do my best with this one here. This is Folo Rancho. Ella Kija, and she's a Nigerian businesswoman, very successful. And this is Aliko Dan Goti, and he is a Nigerian entrepreneur. He was born on April 4th, on the 10th, in 1957. He was ranked by Forbes in 2015 as Africa's richest man. This is Fela Kuti, and he's a Nigerian musician activist, born in 1938, died in 1997. His music genre was Afrobeat. And then this is Sade, a Nigerian-born British singer, born on January the 16th in 1959 in Ibadan, Nigeria, as Helen Folo Sade Adu. This is Anthony Joshua. He's an English boxer. He was born on October the 15th in 1989. So those are all the people that are on this puzzle. So I'm just gonna finish it and we'll see how it looks.
<laughs> this puzzle's so much easier than my last puzzle video. <laughs> Very enjoyable. Okay, so now that I finished the puzzle, you guys can see how there's all these images throughout the Nigeria map and you can basically pick a spot like Borno and then look up stuff about that and try to find things that look like those images and then learn about it better. Even the Gulf of Guinea is on here and it's really cool all these rivers and stuff. I didn't know Nigeria had all those rivers and I think this is like a kind of Mancala game. I play that so that's pretty cool to know that they play that there. It didn't take very long It was a pretty easy puzzle and I can see how you can spend so much time like wanting to look up what's on here And it's like really educational for children and stuff and adults. So next we're gonna do the Ghana puzzle Here is the Ghana map I'm gonna go over the people again just like I did with the Nigeria one. Here's the back it has the capital, the currency, the population, major cities, motto, freedom and justice, major language. This is Ama Ata Aidu, and she was born March 23rd in 1942 near Salt Pond, the Gold Coast, now Ghana. She is a Ghanaian writer. She won a fellowship to Stanford, but returned to Ghana to teach. She's also accepted various professorships in the U.S. and Kenya. This is Azuma Nelson. His alias is The Professor. He was born July 19th, 1958 in Accra, Ghana. He is a Ghanaian former professional boxer. He competed in 1979 through 2008 and he was in the super feather division. He's only five foot five. This guy right up here is Abedi Ayu Pele. He was born November 5th, 1964. He was a former professional footballer who played as an attacking midfielder and who served as captain of the Ghana national team. He was the only man to have won the African Player of the Year award three consecutive times. So from 1991 to 1993. This is Ya Asantewa. Her life was in the mid 1800s to 1921. She was an Ashanti queen at the beginning of the 20th century who remains a powerful symbol today. This is Kwame Nkrumah. He was born September 21st, 1909. He died on April 27th, 1972. He was a Ghanaian nationalist leader who led the Gold Coast drive for independence from Britain and presided over its emergence as the new nation of Ghana. This is Jerry Rawlings and he was born June 22nd, 1947 in Accra, Ghana. He was a military and political leader who served two terms as the democratically elected president of Ghana. He is son of a Scottish father and a Ghanaian mother. Yay! 
Okay, so this is the Ghana map and what this one looks like. This is the Sankofa bird and I'll have a link that you guys can check out for that. This is an Akan symbol so you can look that up at the link that I'll have in the description box. This is Jollof rice. This is Anansi the spider. Anansi is a character in African folk tales of the Shanti people of Ghana. And this is really cool because I used to get read a book that was about Anansi the spider when I was little and I still remember it to this day. So that's really awesome to know that it comes from Ghana. And this is Mancala, which was also in the Nigerian map. And ancient Mancala game boards have been unearthed in Zimbabwe, Uganda, and Ghana. So here are the puzzles. A little bit closer. This is Ghana, and then here's Nigeria. Okay, so that was it for the puzzles. I really enjoyed putting them together. They were very easy to put together and they weren't, they just weren't hard. And I really enjoyed that. And I love seeing all the pictures. I love seeing who the people were and finding out who they were. And I hope you guys enjoyed finding out who some of those people were from Ghana and Nigeria. I will have Very Puzzled linked in the description box below so you guys can check out the puzzles. It is a small business and it would be great if you guys could go check out the small business and see if you want anything for yourself or for your kids if you have kids it's a great learning opportunity very educational to put these puzzles together and research some of the stuff they're going to be coming out with some new puzzles this year too near the end of the year and that's something to look forward to they're gonna have like India and stuff if you're interested in that you should definitely just keep checking the website so everything will be linked down below even more information on some of the stuff I talked talked about that were on the maps. I hope you enjoyed watching me put together these puzzles and learning a little bit about Nigeria and Ghana. I know I learned a lot. I didn't know who some of the people were on the maps, so it was kind of informative for me. If you liked the video, make sure to give that thing a thumbs up. Make sure you go subscribe and click the bell if you're new and you want to see more of my content. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.